Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this video I want to talk about the PCV system. Now in the next video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking up the gas tank and whenever we hook up the gas tank we hook up two hoses to it to of course, well you obviously need a hose between the engine and the gas tank so the gas has a way of getting to the engine. But if you go ahead and take a look around what I just hooked up you're going to notice that there are a lot of other hoses. These ones that come from all over places. This thing that hooks up to PCV, three hoses hooked up to that. Something is hooked up to something near your air filter. What the heck is this crap? Well, for your complete fuel system, you need more hoses than just a hose connecting the gas tank to the engine. Because what happens is your engine isn't 100% perfect. Often gasoline fumes and harmful vapor pretty much leaks in various places from your engine. For example, harmful gas vapor may be leaking from the fuel tank or maybe your carburetor or maybe some uh, fuel vapors may get past the piston in your engine. So in order to pretty much prevent these vapors, from just escaping into the atmosphere because of course that would be bad for the atmosphere and two it would be a waste of fuel what they did is they designed they designed a PCV system so that is why if you ever look on the engine and you see a little plastic thing called PCV that's what it is so what the heck does PCV stand for first of all it stands for positive crankcase ventilation now what it does is it takes all of the places where harmful gas vapors can escape. For example, oh where's that line I just had. For example, this one takes all the harmful filters from the gas tank, if I could zoom in on it properly. And uh, let's see, there are some hooked up to the carburetor. And the reason that you may have some harmful vapors in your carburetor is because your carburetor is of course responsible for mixing the gasoline and the air together to give it the perfect mixture to burn. However, when that mixture is off a little bit, then it may result in some excess gas vapors. So, like I said, there's a bunch of different places on your engine where harmful vapors are created or aren't supposed to be. So what this does is it reroutes all of the gas vapors, pretty much takes them, from where they're not supposed to be and reroutes them back into the area where it can burn again. So of course you know, like I just said, that the carburetor is responsible for making that perfect mixture. What this does is it takes all the vapors and puts it back into the engine so they can reburn. Therefore, what it does is, like I said, prevents all the vapors from going into the atmosphere and preventing you from wasting more money on gas. So I know that what I usually do is I talk to you guys about what I'm ex installing onto my engine and then I show you guys where everything goes. But there are a lot of different connections for this and if I made a video it would be like 20 minutes, well probably not 20 minutes long, probably like 10 minutes long. So on your engine, whenever you're looking at it, you're going to notice uh, several places where it's pretty much different for every engine so it's going to be no use to you showing you where mine goes because like I said it's going to be different for your engine so now that you know what the system does in pretty much one sentence takes the bad vapors from all over your engine and reroutes them to the engine so they can burn again and that's pretty much it so now that you know the basics of a PCV ventilation system which stands for positive crankcase ventilation, we're ready to take that knowledge and use it to hook up the gas tank. So that's what we have to look forward to in the next tutorial, so I will see you guys then.